Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Airmail letter from Mozart by Jonathan Dove. Jonathan Dove is probably one of the most successful composers working in the UK today. Those of you perhaps were lucky enough to catch his classes last year at the Yong Suto Conservatory will know what a sort of inspiration and a lively person he is. Um, it was the students, I think, really, really enjoyed it. Um, Emil Letter from Mozart was actually written for me and the new Mozart Ensemble, a group which I helped to co-found in the early 1990s. In 1993, we were invited to tour the United States and we thought, what a good idea to commission a piece that would take us to the States but had something kind of British about it. And we came up with the idea of Jonathan Dove because Jonathan and I are very, very old friends. And so he wrote us this little musical fantasy, if you like, of sounds and music and movement that Mozart would have heard had he come with us on the trip and would have written back to Constanza of course, these days, with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, he would have been instant. But in the days of airmail letters, it would have taken a lot longer time. It has everything sort of um, homage to a lot of American things, but particularly New York City. The first variation is bustling traffic horns, it's impatient drivers. Um, constantly sort of tooting their way. Does it sound, sound familiar? Yes, maybe it sounds familiar. Um, and there are homage to blues, to jazz, and to Indian music, um, a bit a la Beatles, because this was written in the 1990s, don't forget. And people were still listening to the Beatles. Um, and towards the end, there's a little homage also to South America, to Carmen Miranda and the little Brazilian rhythms. But all very, very brief kind of glimpses um, so that you can just catch very quickly a sort of impression and take it away again.